Hi, welcome to Questions with Carolyn. We're working our way through the different human design charts and today we're looking at the type called reflector. So reflectors are a tiny group. Um, they are about one and a half percent of the population and they're very, very misunderstood. Um, a reflector has a body graph that is completely white in its centres um, and it means that they are receiving information from all of the people around them. They're very much here to let the rest of us know how humanity is moving forward and it's a, a challenging time to be a reflector, especially if you don't know that you are. Um, so if you, if you meet somebody who's having a really, really rough time and they really look like they, um, like they don't kind of fit in, they've always had a hard time through school, through work, um, it'd be great to get them to look up their human design chart and see if they are in fact a reflector or another type like a projector or a manifester that actually has a lot of white in their chart. Um, basically the more white the more challenging we tend to find it. Um, now there's nothing inherently good or bad, right or wrong with any chart, um, but the reflector just needs uh, you know, some more support uh, needs a lot of alone time. So a reflector typically needs about 70% alone time is what's said and lots of time meditating. Reflectors will go through life uh, a lot more slowly than the rest of us. Uh, certainly a lot slower than either the generators or the manifesting generators. Um, and their energy field or aura samples. So if this is a, if we look at like we did at the other pictures for the others, um, what we've got here is your reflector and her, his or her energy field and you know what's happening is he or she's just sampling the environment with her energy field. It's a way of being able to protect all that openness. Um, you know the reflector can't be absorbing all of that information the same way that say a projector would because it would just it would probably kill the reflector. It's, it's too it's too intense. So instead, you know, the reflector just kind of samples what's happening around them um, uh, and they still need lots of alone time to be able to eject everyone else's energy. Um, now the, the strategy for the reflector type uh, is to wait a full lunar cycle. So before making, um, you know, any important decisions about anything, um, their way to move through life again is very, very slowly and taking a full 28, 29 days before kind of committing to anything, you know, anything new, anything big, new intimate relationships, new business ventures, new jobs, um, really taking time to, to move through life. Um, the not self theme or the, the negative so-called unhappy emotion that a reflector will experience time and time again if they're not on path, if they're trying to go too fast, if they're trying to push, if they're you know, if they're um, not spending time around the, the pe you know, people, their community that give them space to air their, their thoughts and their views and their opinions and their, their processes, um, is they're going to feel disappointment. They're going to feel disappointment in humanity and, um, and just in life in general. Whereas the, the so-called positive emotion or the signature as it's called in human design for a reflector um, is in fact the feeling of surprise. So it's this feeling of like, you know, surprise and wonder at, you know, humanity and life and the direction that we're going as a species. Um, and so basically, in a nutshell, that's a reflector. The reflector is really here to reflect what's going on for the rest of us and move very slowly, very, very slowly and gently through life with lots and lots of alone time. More at carolynsapple.com.